In this video, I am going to show you three powerful EDA tools that will reduce your thousands of lineup codes, hours of research on data visualization and exploratory data analysis and missing value outliers to just a few minutes and just two or three line of code. This will help you to save your time on other important tasks rather than having to do the research on the code and try to find out the best visualization. These are called auto EDA tools or automatic exploratory data analysis tool. Let's dive into them and let's understand how they can help you, how they can benefit you to save your time towards EDA and spend more time on building the better and powerful model that can help your business to find out the best solution out of the data. Before performing EDA, we need the data set. And that's what we are going to import first. Our data source today is from Kegel. So I'm using the car price prediction data from kegel.com. The link here is provided. I have downloaded the data from Kegel. So to read the data, I will first import pandas as PD because we need the pandas library to read the data set. Once we import that, I want to read the data set as DF. I want to say dfpd.read CSV, and I want to read the data that is car price prediction, same way as I have saved in my local directory, and that is car price prediction.csv over here in my uh, directory that I have saved. So I will hit run and I have my DF ready. I can quickly confirm the loading of the data. I will say df.head and I will just run just like that. I will be able to see top five rows of the data. That includes car ID, brand, year, engine size, fuel type, transmission, mileage, condition, price, and the model. So this data set, I want to show you how we can perform the exploratory data analysis with minimal line of code. And to do that, our very first library, very first tool we are going to use today is called SuiteViz library. So SuiteViz is really, really powerful and auto EDA tool that will help you to explore this DF really, really convenient way. And to do that, all you have to, first of all, you have to install SuiteViz library if you have not already installed. So if you hit enter, type install SuiteViz, it is going to be installed on your computer if it is not already installed. If it is already there, it's going to show the requirement is already satisfied. Also, SuiteViz library is built on the top of NumPy. So there might be some issue with the deprecation. To avoid any issues, first of all, I will import NumPy as NP. And once I import that, I will avoid any deprecation warning or deprecation error using this line of code. Now I would run that and any deprecation error will go away. I will simple do now is suite viz report, suite report. I'm gonna say SV. So first of all, I will need to import suite viz as well. So import suite viz as SV. Now, as I hit run, it will import the suite viz library into my notebook. Now, the next thing I would do is run this line of code where it says suite report equals sv.analyzeDF. So sv is from suiteviz.analyze is its function where I will provide the data frame and that will create the EDA report using the suiteviz library. So I will run that line of code. Now my report is ready to view and display the report. Now I would simply say suite report that I have created the report over here. I want to show as HTML because that's going to be the web browser where I will be able to see all the reports, all the visuals from this data. I will hit run and now look at this. This visualization has been created by the suite viz. And let's look at the, all the components in the data. You have correlation or associations created by the suite viz. You can see different columns over here and how they are associated with different columns as we can see different type of correlation. Here 
darker blue is the positive correlation and here darker red color is towards the negative correlation and here the blue box color here we have legends squares are for the categorical association where the circles will be for symmetrical numerical correlation so we don't have much circles here we do have very high correlation between brand and the model we don't have much numerical association numerical correlation because we don't have much of the circle except just a few here we can look at column by column for example car id that's just a unique id which doesn't have much value to explain even though this column was considered as a numerical column so we have a bunch of statistics and some sort of visualization but technically it doesn't make any sense we can look at the brand column so brand column you can see that toyota has the most occurrences or most instance instances in the data we have then audi bmw mercedes honda tesla ford etc we have some sort of association of the column with rest of the columns in the data set we can look at the year which year model we have most of the vehicles we can look at the engine size so engine size is considered as a numerical column that's why we have these bar graph here and we can see what percentage of the data values are for which engine size values we can change the number of bins that we want to visualize the data with so automatic is going to pick whatever the best size of the bins would be for this visualization we can pick any specific number of bins and we can look at the numerical or statistical exploration of the data for example what's the maximum number of uh, maximum engine size that the six uh, six cylinder engine of course 95th percentile third quartile average median uh, first quartile first five percent fifth percentile minimum value a range of the values iqr interquartile range we can see standard deviation variation kurtosis skewness summation bunch of those are available within that and we can also check the fuel type diesel petrol electric hybrid we can see the percentage of the occurrences of each values in the column we can check the transmission manual and automatic transmission mileage of the vehicles we have seen all of these numerical distribution of the data condition of the vehicle used new like new and the price distribution so this is really important to understand uh, what the data tells us so maximum price minimum price and range of standard deviation median price and also we have a model distribution so what is the percentage of occurrences of each model within the data set so this is really powerful visualization to understand and get the gist of the data and build the next plan what we are going to do with the data I, either we want to clean up make the data more standard or we want to proceed with the next step into our data science project which can be data pre-processing and machine learning pro machine learning model building next auto eda tool i want to introduce here is why data profiling why data profiling it used to be called pandas profiling as well so why data profiling is another yet powerful way of reducing the line of code significantly and achieve the magnificent exploratory data analysis goals that we want to build understanding about the data so to do that what we have to call is pip install y data profiling and hit enter and that will install y data profiling and after that you have to import the y data profiling you have to say from y data profiling import profile report hit run and uh, the y data profiling module will be imported into your local ide then simply say y data report equals profile report and give the data set and give some title it will create a nice title for your uh, report and we can simply say why data profiling report for car price prediction data set pretty nicely done now i will hit enter and it will create the report for you the next step is to is to save the report locally then you have to say why data report that you have just created and uh, why data report dot to file whatever the file name you want to give that will be saved in your working directory you're saying to file dot html 
or web page format the html file will help you to open this into web page format i will hit run now why data profiling report has been created and saved into your local directory so it will create it will show some fancy code here if i would just open just like that if i open the file from my local directory it will open the web browser for us it has given me the title nice title here why data profiling report an overview of the data set look at this number of variable or columns 10 columns number of observations number of rows that are 2500 rows missing cell no missing zero percent missing no duplicate as well and total size in memory average record size in the memory and variable type five numerical five categorical any alerts that might be in the data so it says brand is highly overall correlated with the model and model is highly correlated with the brand because that's a vice versa car id is uniformly distributed and car id has all unique values look at these these alerts have been provided to you so that you can take the necessary action if you need to take it so reproduction here couple of analysis started what time and then duration how long it ran software version that is why data profiling and download configuration is the config.json file now there are more options here variables what column you want to explore using why data profiling you can choose the column but by default it has given column by column beginning with the car id that is a unique identifier of each rows that is not so much to look at here you can choose the brand from there it will bring the brand for you and you can look at how what are the distinct values and distinct percentage missing values if any and how does the numerical count of the records look like in all of those unique values in the data you can click on more detail and have better understanding about the data overview of the data and categorical distribution of the data words which are the most frequently repeated words and number of characters so in your data which word is most repeated into the brand column o is most repeated d is uh, second most repeated e is third most repeated and so on and this will help you to build a stronger understanding about those words and then characters categories bunch of those options you can look at the interactions of the car id with any another column for example price you can look at car id by car id that's going to be 100 percent correlation or perfectly positive correlation car id with the year almost everywhere engine size mileage we can look at in the heat map format looking at automatically heat map on the tabular tabular format or in the heat color heat map if there is any missing value there is no missing value as well some sample rows and columns we can look at for any other column for example in the beginning we have chosen brand we can choose a year and we can understand the distribution of the year and all of the information we have seen for the brand we can look at the fuel type and that will give a perfect categorical analysis of the data diesel petrol electric hybrid and interaction of the engine size with any other or maybe for with the price and car id engine size mileage bunch of those the numerical uh, representation you can look at any other columns that you want to explore and see the super in-depth explanation about the data using statistics even using histogram and what are the common values and then extreme values the result will differentiate based on what type of column you have what type of data you have so this way you can explore bunch of values bunch of uh, different ways that that will help to build the understanding about the data you can check quickly over here by navigating some uh, these menu options and you can build quick understanding of the data by column level or understanding relationship or understanding at any issues or concern in the data so this is super super powerful to use as auto eda tool that will help you by not having to write hundreds and thousands of line of code and do the eda one by one this is all and everything in one single place next and the final one i want to show you here is the detail 
Detail is another tool that will help you to automate the EDA or exploratory data analysis. To use Detail, same way you have to install Detail first and then once you install Detail, you can simply import Detail and start doing the EDA. Once the installation is completed, it is so easy. All you have to do is detail.showdf. That's it, just one line of code after you import the data and import detail library. So simply you have to say import detail and then detail.show and then provide your data set. It will not even open the HTML for you. It will show in place. So you will show, you will get bunch of options. What exactly is the task you want to accomplish using detail? It is very, very interactive. You can do some actions here, show and hide columns. And if you want to show or hide any columns, you want to convert any of those to array, custom filter, data frame function, clean function, clean the column, merge in stack, summarize the data, feature analysis, or you want to visualize the data. For example, you want to do the statistical analysis of the data set. You want to remove, check and duplicate, check missing values, check correlation, predictive power score, time series analysis, bunch of options you have at your fingertips. You can change the settings, what theme you like to look at, what language you want to look at, or maximum width, maximum height, and bunch of options you have over here for example, I'm going to show you one of those, which is describe. So pretty easy here. So in the describe, you can see for each column, which columns you want to look the description for. So you can choose or exclude or include any columns that you want to include into that describe. So now what you can see here is you can check for brand and uh, over here, you can see bunch of distribution or word count and then value count for the brand you can look at all of those distributions and it is very interactive since it is built on the top of plotly it is very interactive not only this but also you can export the code for this visualization now you can look at any other column and understand the data in detail for example here you can look at histogram value counts frequency table qq plot so different options will be available based on what data set what type of data set you are using what is the data type bunch of those will determine the, what type of visualization should be there so you can check super back super in detail you can go back to the data table at any time and you can check bunch of other options over here you have so many options available for you at your fingertips and you have this works as a navigation bar and also you have options at the top to perform any specific action you want to perform you want to visualize you want to highlight or you want to adjust any setting this is really powerful and this is in place within your Jupyter Notebook or your VS Code, your Google Colab, whichever interface you're using, detail is still very powerful to display any results in place. You will love this tool and you will find a lot of value using this tool and not having to write so many line of code and you will accomplish your goal of exploratory data analysis, data visualization, and cleaning up the data, making the data powerful enough and ready to take to the next step. If you find this video really helpful, please hit that like button. And also, if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please also subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.